friends in Christ. Welcome to our daily reflection for the 19th of August and Saturday of the 19th week in the ordinary time. In every society, the arrival of children is a welcome development. A new child in a family or society is a sign of hope, a sign of the continuity of that society, and that brings joy. Every community celebrates the arrival of a new child. The church too, as a community of God's people, welcomes children and celebrates their arrival. In fact, to be called children in this community is not just a matter of age. It is also used for those who have just been initiated into the faith through the sacrament of baptism or to identify those who are disciples of Christ. Every Christian community is therefore happy to welcome new members, either by natural birth or by spiritual rebirth through the sacraments. Our first reading today is from Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 to 29. And it's a call to faithfulness. Recalling all that the Lord has done for his people, Joshua calls on them to show their sincerity by a faithful worship of God. He says, Now therefore, fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. And if you be will, unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Here we have Joshua asking the people to freely choose whom they will serve. No longer should anyone feel compelled by him. God deserves to be a choice for worship and nothing else. Joshua went ahead to make his own choice. The choice of his household is to serve God. The people followed and then he charged them to worship God with one and clean heart. What is your own choice? What's the choice of your family? If it is to serve God, are you doing so with all your heart and obeying his commands? In today's gospel, taken from Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 to 15, Jesus once again calls us to approach the kingdom like a little child. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. A little child is a marvelous creature. He is unfinished and dependent. He is trustful and affectionate. He is eager to learn and improve. He is quick to forgive. He does not keep a grudge. And he has an open mind. Jesus laid his hands on the children and blessed them. Parents must see it as a duty to bring up their children in the way of God. Lead them to Jesus. Just as you send them to the best of schools, do not forget that their religious upbringing must be a top priority. This holiday period is a time for such, when you must create the time needed to allow your child participate more actively in church activities. Send them to catechism when they are old enough for the sacraments and just as you sit down to check their homework when they return from school, do the same with their catechism. Bring them up in the fear of God and they will never depart from the way. Word for today. Open your Bible to Matthew chapter 19, verse 14. Let the little children come to me. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your mercies which is beyond what we can fully understand. Bless us with the grace to live according to your will. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.